Another video on resistive antenna bridges. This time a self-contained unit without a meter movement. Given how rare meters are in salvaged equipment now and the cost of buying them new, this unit would be a lot cheaper than one with a meter if you're going to build one from scratch. This is the circuit. All components are commonly available off the shelf. On the left is the RF bridge portion of the circuit. When your antenna is tuned up correctly, there's zero volts here. But when there's a mismatch, the voltage increases. The more of the voltage, the more your tuning is off. A bit of that is taken and fed to the following stage. That's a voltage controlled oscillator using a triple five timer like I described in a previous video. The potentiometer is the sensitivity control which in practice is set to just short of where the unit starts oscillating with zero volts. As before, a nine volt battery powers the unit. If you wanted to, and I've seen this done in other resistive bridge circuits, you could put an indicator LED from here down to ground. You'd have a 1K resistor or similar in series with it. The benefit of that is that would give you a bridge that does not require an external supply. But it's only a visual indication and at low power levels the LED may not be all that sensitive. I've built the bridge in a small plastic box, similar to what I've used for this antenna coupler, so together they make a good pair. Because 9 volt batteries are expensive, I've got it on the outside so I can easily replace it and use it for other projects. Inside is a bit untidy. It's hard to see, but underneath the tape is a speaker. It's smaller than usual, salvaged from an old toy. These large resistors are part of the bridge circuit. To get the 50 ohms, I've got a 100 ohm in parallel. That also improves the wattage rating. These are the 15 ohm resistors. This is 27 ohm. And all the other parts are normal size. The triple five timer VCO board, which you've seen before, has been incorporated in this project. And if you need to, it's possible to get out the trim pot to make adjustments. That could be changed to a potentiometer if you want to make it adjustable from the outside of the box. Have you checked out The Daily Antenna? It's a blog with one post per day on antennas and related topics. Visit dailyantenna.blogspot.com